she ain't got no money in the bank. What is going on guys, Jack here and I'm back with yet another FIFA potential and confirmed transfers video. Before we get into this one, if you are looking for cheap FIFA coins then make sure you do check out IG Vault in the description down below to get yourself some cheap FIFA coins for PlayStation and Xbox. Like I said, it's the end of FIFA so make sure you go check them out. Let's try out the players you've always wanted to try out. Before we get into this video, if you could smash that like button and subscribe if you are new around here, I'd very much appreciate it. Well, the first player we're looking at now is David Marshall. Now, he is attracting a lot of interest from West Brom, a job from Cardiff. Had a solid season last year when he was actually in the uh, Premier League, so it'd be interesting to see. Not last year, the year before or something like that. He had a very solid time there, so you know I can definitely see this one being a good sign for West Brom. Next one we do have is a confirmed transfer is Alexandro to Juve from Porto. Obviously they have now lost Danilo and Sandro, two of their standout fullbacks really last year. And Alexandro has now joined the uh, obviously the runners up in the Champions League. Wish him all the best and I think it's a solid sign and he's gonna provide a lot of competition with Evera, but he is a very good option to now have in the Serie A left back. Next one I do have is Johnny Evans and he's attracting interest again from West Brom. He was linked with a move for Everton, but Tony Pulis wants the Northern Ireland man Dan and in at the Hawthorns. So maybe Johnny Evans could be on his way there or Everton. We have to wait and see. Next one I do have is Ferro Cohen Trail. Looks like he is paving the way to PSG from Real Madrid. Obviously not getting in the way of much game time. Obviously with Marcelo holding back down that left back spot since he's basically been there. So it's been a, a very, very hard time for Cohen Trail. But hopefully he gets this move sorted for him. Next one I do have is AZ Ilaramendi, another Real Madrid player that has been linked with a move away, and this time it's to Liverpool. Um, not had a, in the way of many first team opportunities at Real Madrid, but I think it'd be a good move. Obviously, it, it, he'll come with a price, but I think he'll be a very good signing for Brendan Rodgers' men. But I don't think he really needs to make a another midfield signing. I think he's solid throughout the whole midfield. Maybe another more. It could pave the way for someone like Lucas Leiva to be leaving though. Next one I do have is Ilkay Gundogan and uh, Louis van Gaal with the strength on his side and bring the German in from Borussia Dortmund. Will it be a good move? We have to wait and see. Obviously, didn't have the much of game time last year due to injury, but it would be a very good deal and he can link up the likes of Bastian Schweinsteiger, a dream of the German duo in midfield for Manchester United. Next one I do have is Juan Cuadrado, who has, I said his name completely wrong, Juan Cuadrado um, has completed a move from Chelsea to Juventus on loan. At the tour inside, obviously, they're looking to strengthen their side. It looks like another player could be on his way to Chelsea, though. As you can see, Neymar has been linked with a £250 million move. Yes, you heard me right, Manchester United. I don't think this one will happen in the one They've got the best attacking trio in the world of football Neymar, Messi, and Suarez. Do you really want to break them up? I'm not too sure, but what a, mid a, a strike force they do have. But 250 million money talks in football. Neymar could be in the box in the Premier League this year. Next one I do have is Paul Pogba, one of the brightest prospects in football, and he's been linked with a move to Chelsea. The player I was going on about when I was talking about Quadrado, a player on his way to Chelsea, it could be Paul Pogba around about 78 million pounds. An absolute, oh my word, that is just so much money for a player. Paul Pogba would bring life to the Barclays Premier League and would definitely provide competition with Manchester City in that midfield. Imagine Pogba versus Toure. It's a dream. It's an absolute dream and I'd love to see it. Next one I do have is Edison Cavani being linked with a move to Arsenal. Um, not happy at PSG and puts Arsenal on red alert. Red alert would be a very good signing for him. Another player that's been linked with him is Kokorin. Uh, Kokorin, uh, I don't know how to say his name, but a Russian striker that, you know... He's when you watch him live, it just doesn't seem all that. Some Arsenal fans have aired that he, he's not the striker they want, but he's a striker that's been linked with him. He's young, uh, his goal scoring record is not that impressive. But when Arsenal come knocking, he's, he's all but certain that he's probably going to join them. Next one, I do have is Matt Jarvis. Now, this one, not too sure about this one. Uh, it does link with a move for this next guy here, Mikel Antonio, uh, on his way to West Ham. West Ham looking to secure a deal for Antonio, sending Jarvis on loan and pass cash. But Matt Jarvis, there's a a problem with this one because Matt Jarvis is saying that he does not want to go on loan to Nottingham Forest, but 
West Ham do want Antonio, so it's going to be a very awkward one. Don't know what's going to happen with that one, but he would bring life to the bar of this Premier League. I'm sure many people would agree. Nottingham Forest's player of the year uh, last season. Next one I do have is another West Ham linked move. It is Victor Moses, subject to an £8 million move to West Ham United, and this is a sign I want to see so badly. Antonio Moses in his West Ham side would provide pace, provide a perfect counter-attack in football, and add a bit of excitement to West Ham United that they've been lacking this season, it would seem. I'd love to see this signing happen, and I hope it does. Next one to have is Mario Balotelli. He's completely moved back to AC Milan from Liverpool after a disastrous spell in the Barclays Premier League in his return. So he's gone back to his old club, AC Milan. Hopefully it'll work out for him. We want to see some magic from Mario Balotelli. We miss the old him. Next one to have is Wado Vargas, who has completed a move um, from Napoli to 1899 Hoffenheim, I do believe they're called. Um, the Bundesliga side. I'd love to see him back in the Barclays Premier League. He looked like a very dangerous player, but he has moved to the Bundesliga. The last player we do have is Marco Marin who has completed the move to Turkish side Transboro. I want to say their name is I'm not too sure. I'll probably just butchered it from Chelsea. A player that just loves to be loaned out. I don't think he has a future at Chelsea in all honesty and he's looking for the right club to come in and uh, look for him from a permanent basis. But that is going to bring end to today's video guys. If you did enjoy it as always make sure to smash that like button. I'd very much appreciate it. If you are new around here then why not hit that subscribe button too. Cheap FIFA coins in the description down below for IG Vault. Make sure you do check them out and as always I hope you have a really nice day. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace!